Hello, this is Paul Yoder, field agronomist for Pioneer. Today I want to talk with you about ear development and the pollination process that our cornfields are currently going through. Stresses can have an indefinite effect on the overall yield of corn. And these last few days during pollination, we've been experiencing some pretty extreme heat, high humidity. The good thing is, is that we have a fair amount of moisture in these fields to help these corn plants survive and continue to pollinate. Pollen shed is controlled by a combination of genetic and environmental factors. The size, placement, and the amount of kernel set on the corn ear documents when this ear was subject to environmental stress and the severity of the stress. Understanding how corn ears respond to stress can help determine what stress was present, when the stress occurred, and possibly how to change your management practices for next year. So for example, if you find that a reduction in the number of kernel rows around the ear is substantially less, then more than likely stress occurred around B7, earlier stages of the life, which in some cases you could be putting on side dress and hydrus, you could be putting on chemicals for weed control. A reduction in the number of kernels long of the ear or a shorter ear will occur if substantial environmental stresses occurs at late vegetative phase or just right before pollination. Anthers typically shed pollen around mid-morning as anthers dry in the heat and the sunlight. Pollen grains are viable for only a few minutes after they are shed. A tassel normally sheds pollen for about five days. However, pollen shed in a cornfield can last up to two weeks. Silks will start at the base of the ear and they'll work their way up. Silks will continue to elongate for up to 10 days after emergence or until they are pollinated. So one of the things that you may want to look at in your cornfields as you're driving by or walking them is that if you find that the silks seem to be extremely long, then more than likely those silks were never pollinated, unfortunately, and may warrant someone else coming and taking a look with you at your corn to see what maybe took place. Once pollinated, the silk will develop a pollen tube and within 24 hours will travel down that tube to the kernel. In another 24 hours, the silk will begin to dry out and will easily fall off the ear. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.